Is being sober and alcohol free boring? Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Jamie Dottie Garza, and it's time to ignite your sobriety. One of the things I have been reading in comments and actually hearing year after year as I embark on my sobriety and being alcohol free since April 18th, 2022 is, is it boring? How do you get, I get, I get these comments all the time. Like, how do you have fun without alcohol or is it boring? Like, what do you do? And I saw in comments too of others who may be going through the same thing and they get bored and sometimes they relapse and go back. I want to share a story. When I first tried to go completely sober in 2016 and when I found out that my now wife is, was pregnant with my son Carter and I tried to go cold turkey. And during that, it was hard for me because I know the type of personality I am. I couldn't have one in anything, guess what? Because if I go one, I want the six pack or the 12 pack. Or if I got a pint of Hennessy, guess what? This wasn't enough, let's go ahead and get the fifth. Let's get the leader. Like that was the type of person I was on or the type of person I was with my alcohol consumption. So first time I fell short was a few months. I think I was sober for about three months and then I was doing the, well, I was just drink on the weekend thing and I was resorting more to champagne and things like that. But a lot of it was because of boredom. I already was active in creating. I've always been creating videos, creating content. And I was, I, I remember getting into drawing I, I remember I bought myself one of those tablets. I always loved drawing growing up. And I remember I wanted to do more digital art. So I do remember that time I found some hobbies. And that's one thing I'll mention too. The boredom thing is all in your mind. Because really, I feel like if you get a routine or if you get some hobbies or some things you like, it'll actually you actually have more energy, believe it or not. See, I used to think, I needed alcohol for energy. Like that's how backwards my thinking was until now being sober, I realized, wow, I have more energy. But you definitely want to outline your day with some structure and some activities that will benefit you. Like I said, I had to learn this throughout the years and it didn't finally click for me 100% until 2022. Some of the things I did was I started to wake up early. That never happened when I was drinking alcohol, because guess what? Yeah, your boy wasn't trying to wake up. I was trying to sleep, 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 and get my beauty rest and be recharged. After I had kids, that had to change because everyone knows, and if you don't know, now you know, you about to know, when you have a newborn, that's like two hours every time. Like I couldn't afford to be miserable taking care of my son. And you know what, for a little bit of time, I felt like I was dropping the ball with my girl. She was holding all the weight and here I am feeling entitled with just drinking. I, I liked reading, but I got more in depth in reading. You know, those times where I felt like I had to drink and to have a good time, to be creative, to all these excuses I made during time, because guess what? That's what alcohol does, it delusions your mind. I made time for reading. I also made time to actually build a business. You know, I was a freelancer for a lot of, uh, for a good pocket of time when I was just freelancing my video production editing skills. It wasn't until I truly got sober and was like eliminating the alcohol piece by piece that I was able to build my company in 2018. I feel like it was all part of the process. And then once I completely got rid of the alcohol, whoosh, to a point where like, I don't get bored anymore. Like, I feel like that comes with age too. You know, I know in my 20s, I always had this thing of like fear of missing out. And that's why I was drinking the most heavily in. This is when I didn't even recognize I had an issue, had a problem. I was literally a function alcoholic dog. And I know some of the people in my comments are I could relate with because I was there too. And it took awareness. And if you would have told me in my 20s, like, 
hey man you should quit alcohol i would think like that is boring like that is not fun what i realize now is i could still enjoy myself and have a good time without the alcohol i'll put in context when i got married in may of 2021 at that time i wasn't even drinking liquor like i was drinking no liquor i remember the night before you know we we're turning up i drank some heinekens but that day I remember I was drinking some hard seltzer. That's as hardcore as I was going with some seltzers. I, I completely eliminated liquor, very sparingly had beer. And if I could go back to that wedding day, because I was on the dance floor all the time. Matter of fact, I was going to be on the dance floor regardless because of the large investment, you know, me and my wife made. Like, we're going to get this money in days worth, okay? But if I could go back to that time, I would have still been as turned up with or without the alcohol. And as I grow and develop and get more confidence each and every time that I decline a drink or I, ref or I just don't partake in that, the more life is just fun. Like sometimes I be telling my kids like, C -c 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 you see that guys? Oh, I'm drunk on life. And that's how I feel. And it feels so empowering, it feels marvelous. Like just being comfortable with one. Because honestly, with or without alcohol, or let me say it with the, without, when you don't have alcohol, the more confident you are within yourself, it's gonna flourish. And the same thing goes when you start into, you, you may be relying on alcohol, like I once did my whole life, or most majority of my life, 15 years of my life. And then you take it out, you still have the fingers point at you and you gotta be good within yourself. Whether you have alcohol or not, like you still gotta have that confidence in yourself, whether you're gonna be bored or not. There's always some activities you can do. Alcohol is just keeping you down from the best version. I say this all the time, like for someone like me, okay? Like, yes, I had a gift of creating video content. I had a gift of editing. I had all these gifts. And would I be where I'm at without alcohol? Perhaps. That's, I don't, I don't, I can't even say that confidently. I don't think I would. But without alcohol, I feel like I got here faster where I'm supposed to be. And in life, it's all about taking, making the most out of your time because each day that passes is a day closer to your death, no matter how you cut it. Periodically, I'll take like maybe 30 minutes, maybe an hour, and I'll indulge in some Nintendo Switch. I work out every day. I take a walk every day for at least 10 to 20 minutes. That helps out a lot. A lot A lot of people, of course, because you're gonna lose weight on during this journey when you start quitting, quitting alcohol, you might release those endorphins in the gym. And that's a great thing. I remember I was going to the gym when I first started to quit. I'm so wild, let me, let me tell you straight up. I remember drinking the night before, but I was staying committed to working out, running my miles and stuff, and I could do it. That's how I know I was a functional alcoholic, because I was doing it with ease. like. Really, it was a mountain back to zero because it's like, yo, you drink all this, all this liquor, it turns into sugar. Or somehow it's processing your body and then you're going to work out and you're going to end up zero. So I wasn't really reaping the whole benefits of being active. That's how crazy alcohol was tricking my brain. In order not to get bored, you got to be real with yourself and you got to be open with yourself and you got to believe in yourself. You got to have some self-respect for yourself. You know, you got to tell yourself, like, you know what? I'm going to start respecting my time. And you got to be real for why you want to change, why you really want to do this. Jot it down, write it down. I know it was probably for you and your health, but if you're someone like me, I got kids. You know, I got I got people depending on me. I got I got a gift I got to keep showing up for. I got, I got so many things I want to do. And I can't do it with alcohol. So is being sober boring? I say no. I'm still the same person who will crack a joke. I'm still the person who will dance, a line dance of the, what's that say? Get in there, yeah, yeah, get in there. It's a wedding song. I, I film a lot of weddings. If anything, it's not boring. It makes you more present in situations, I'll tell you that. It's only boring if in your mind you think it's boring. I call it maturity. If it's just being confident with yourself. I don't, I don't call it boring. And if you're going through boredom, I encourage you guys to try the things I mentioned in this video, and I hope it helps. Don't let boredom get in the way of being the best version of yourself. I'm sure you remember being in class like, oh, this is so boring. Or you might be at a lecture or like 
you might be getting some knowledge from your OG or someone drop, trying to drop jewels on you, some game on you, and you might have thought it was so boring at the time, but you reflect back on your life and maybe you took something from it. it was it really that boring? It's all perception. It's all perception, y'all. So I encourage each and every one out there, whether you're sober curious or if you're someone who started your sobriety journey, to keep igniting your sobriety. You got this. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more content like this on the channel, subscribe, and let's continue to build this community.